Hi, I was wondering if you guys take appointments. Uh, right now we don't do appointments, just okay. Okay, got it. And um, do you do boho knotless? Yes, we do. How much is that? Okay, got it. Hi, I saw on your website um, to get a brow lamination that you have to go in for like a, a tester. Is that a patch test? A patch test? Okay, got it. Okay, thank you. Got it, got it. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. All right, y'all. Do not mind. I've been doing laundry and I'm really over the folding stage. So that's going to stay here until I feel like folding it. Until I need to go to sleep. But, yeah. Don't mind my state of being. That's kind of like the point of this video. Because we need to get back to where we are. We need to get back to normal. We need to... Not even maintain, we just need to re we need to boost. It's not even gonna take a week, hopefully it's only gonna take a few days, but I'm doing nails, I'm getting my braids, I'm getting boho knotless, but you guys may or may not know that I normally do my own hair, I normally do my own braids and twists and stuff like that. I'm just not with it, like I, cause that normally takes like 24 full hours, so it normally I split it up between two days, and I just don't want to give up two days of my life to just be braiding all day long, like I just don't want to be doing that. Um, so I am going to go to an African hair braider and do that, which is kind of nerve wracking because I haven't been to a hair shop to get my hair done in literally like five years, years, probably more than five, I don't know, it's been a long, long time and i'm a little nervous to like give the control of my hair over to someone else and then like pay them because she was like boho knotless is 220 and i've seen people pay like 300 and all that stuff so i'm like okay 220 like it's kind of in the middle but i'm like it's still just expensive and i'm like i really hope i like it but i like i went on tiktok and i like looked at different places and different people's hair so like the people that went and got boho knotless from this place it looks good so i have hope i'm just scared like i i i really have not sat in the chair in so long like i hope she don't pull my head too hard and then i have my lash appointment for saturday and then i'm gonna try to get my brows done I'm gonna try to get them laminated i've never gotten them laminated before i actually don't want you guys to be so up close and personal to me right now i've never gotten them laminated before but i think that would just be cool because i normally gel them up you know every day but i think i think a lamination would be something cool and fun and fresh to try um what else am i doing I'm gonna do my nails i was thinking of getting my toes done i think i should get my toes done i think that is something i should do so maybe that'll push me to buy some sandals. I'm like, I never get my toes done in the summer because like I never wear sandals. But I'm like, maybe if I get my toes done, it'll push me to wear sandals. That's that's the plan. That's the list of stuff we have to do. And I have to, so the reason for my hood right now is I washed my hair. I'm just letting it rest because my hair, my, my uh, scalp is very sore from, you know, my hair being straight and having the straightener go through it and all the brushing and stuff like that so i'm not even gonna like touch it at all it's in like dookie braids it's looking real crazy so this is just gonna be my vibe and i also need to dye it i need to dye my roots because my hair is currently ginger you'll be able to see when i take off the hood at some point throughout this vlog but my hair is like a ginger light brown um, but my roots have grown out so I want to dye my roots back that way the braiding hair that I get is gonna be like a light brown And I think that's gonna be hopefully it's gonna be cute. I think it is gonna be cute. I might be dyeing my hair tonight I don't know also My bookcase has finally arrived. So I think it's moderately easy to put together I literally think I just like stack stuff on top. Oh my boy look like a gremlin I think I'm gonna put it together real quick. I don't know, I'm just like, I wanna see it so bad. I'm really excited for it. So, let's do it. Let's put it together. Forever, forever, forever.
here it is. What do you think? How do we feel about it? I like it. I like the color. So if you guys haven't seen this bookcase, I feel like it's everywhere, like on Pinterest and stuff like that. They have a lot of dupes for them. This one is um, the bookcase from Design Within Reach. It's called the Story Bookcase. And they have it in so many different colors, but I wanted to do this like orange one because I felt like it would go good with like all the green and stuff. Hopefully, I mean, yeah, they have like two different heights. Like I picked the tallest one because I literally measured it and I was like, oh, that's cool. Like it's gonna go all the way up. But they also have one that stops like right here. But I thought that would be like a little chuggy doogie. But I think I like it. And I put my books on it. And honestly, there's like no book specific sorting going on here. Like I kind of tried to color code like blues, yellows. I don't know. I'll figure it out as I get more. But I think I also want to add like plants and just like decorations, like have it not only be a bookshelf type vibe. I'm like sweating in this hoodie, but I can't take it off. <sighs> like I'll link it down below, but also I'll link some dupes. They have a dupe on Amazon and also on Wayfair because it, it was it was expensive. But my mindset was like every apartment slash home slash any place I move into after this I'm gonna take this with me because it's like a bookcase it's cool it's my vibe but it's also nothing too crazy like I feel like it'll fit in anywhere this is like please yeah it's it's very intense of a price but they do have dupes on Amazon and stuff except the reason I wanted the original one is because the dupes on Amazon I don't think they turn the different ways like I think they can only be placed like in one way but i'm not entirely sure i honestly don't even know but yeah so that's that the room is coming together it looks still cluttered and dirty i need to figure out that whole mess vibe but yeah i need to go out and i think pick up some braiding hair and then also go to my grandma's so I'm like so wetting. I I don't know. I hope it's not hot outside cuz I'm not taking this hood off, y'all. I'm not taking it off. My grandma's house now but you guys just need to lock me inside lock the doors don't let me outside because why every single time i leave my house i'm going bankrupt i am going broke because i walked into the beauty supply store you know expecting something calm but then forgetting that i'm doing boho knotless and wanted human hair forgot how much human hair costs why was he was ringing it up it got into the hundreds i said oh I had to hold in my tears. I mean, I knew I was gonna spend a quite a bit of money with all the appointments and stuff like that. But I was just like, it just hurts every time I leave the home. And then I went to the other beauty supply store. Ooh, why is there so much poop? I went to the other beauty supply store and they had such cute press on nails. I just think that outside is a trap for me. Outside is a trap for my income that is no longer incoming because every time it incomes, it goes out. But I bought press on nails that I don't need because I already have a whole stack of them. But anyways, I'm gonna go to my grandma's house, do her hair, do her nails. I bought her some nail polish from Target and we're gonna try to not go bankrupt this week. What? Doing what? Work? in the same exact fit as I did yesterday y'all except I changed my pants but just don't speak on it don't speak on it like I said we need to start off at the bottom of the barrel to rise up to the top and I'll rise up take my people with me together we are going to a brand new home oh yeah I could have done that and I'll rise up <laughs> 
Honestly, she says, and I'll stand up. We're in the same fit. It honestly does not matter because it's raining today. It's, it's rainy, it's cold, it's looking crazy. This is looking crazy. What is that? What is that? Raina and I are currently about to go to Soho. <laughs> We're going to Soho to go to Zara. When my family watches this, they're all gonna be very disappointed. I'm sure as soon as those words came out of my mouth, they got on their phone and got ready to text me, Maya, I'm so disappointed in you. What is happening? Because truly I have no, I have no business going to Zara. I was just at Zara. I have no business going to Zara. But their summer sale just started. So we're gonna go. It's nine o'clock right now. No, this is crazy. I, there's limits to how crazy, but like that's even crazier. The Zara opens at 10. So we're trying to get there when it first opens so that, you know, because we're going to the one in Soho and that one is crazy. So I'm hoping it'll be like less crazy because it's a rainy day, it's a weekday. And if we get there early, then it'll just be like calm. Whatever, I don't, whatever. But yeah, so that's the plan. Like, I'm gonna be very restrictive. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have some restraint for myself today. You know, it, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna have a limit. I also have an item that I need to return. So like, we'll try to do that. But also I lost the tag for it. But I don't think I lost it. Like, I think, I think it just never existed. Like, honestly. But I have the receipt, but I'm a little bit worried that they're gonna give me a hassle, but I don't know. I don't know, I'm not good with conflict, so I'm a little scared. My mindset is I'll return the item, which was like, it was like 45 bucks. And then I'm like, okay, well I can get something, you know, I can do a little exchange for something else for 45 bucks. Well, She's not doing we'll well. discuss when I get home, really but I, I, on it, I need to be punished. Not the punishment. I need to be punished, the and I need to be kept inside. Demeanor changed. Yeah. <laughs> Everything changed because look at the size of the bag. Bag is beefy. Also, you... No, there's no excuse. Okay, but you no, there's really no excuse. You may return a lot yes. of things. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't get to try anything on. So realistically, I'm probably going to be making some returns. Let's cross our fingers. You can work from home. We made it. We're back home. <laughs> <laughs> I had some <laughs> some breakfast, my first meal, some pasta. Just want a nap. Just want to take a nap. But I have to edit a video. I'm gonna give you guys the haul of the stuff. Or try it on. I haven't even tried the stuff on. Wait, I wanna see it. I'm so excited. Yeah. But it has to be done after after I edit this video. So me going. We're gonna do some productiveness. <laughs> Try one now. It's really bad. I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, I definitely can't. I'm kidding. Uh, anyways, I'm so tired. I'm just cooked. Zara, Zara, Zara. <laughs> like yo, uh, it's the. I want to fight that, but like I also want to marry that. We're in such a toxic relationship because why are you so good but yet so bad? I didn't even tell y'all the fitting rooms. Oh Raina went. Gosh. Raina went. She had twenty freaking items in her hand, what? like lugging it, and like you know, Raina's small, so it was small, like I'm she small. she Thank couldn't you. do it. Thank you. And literally, she went up, came back downstairs, and she was like, "The fitting rooms are closed, but only for today. Only like, for only today." For, they were like, "I was like, hi, like it's like the fitting room." Like, he's like, "Oh, it's closed, but only for today, though." I'm like, "How does that help me?" 
I'm here today. Right. Like, what? So the fittings room was closed. So that was part of my problem was that nothing that I got, I was able to try on. So there's a possibility that, you know, the stuff that some of the stuff that I got is just not going to fit. Or it's just not going to be cute, which I'm like, part of me is hoping that's true so I can get yeah. some money back. But also part of me is hoping that's not true because I really like the way that the stuff that I got looks like holding it up. But yeah, Zara, Zara and I are really in a toxic relationship. Like it's the toxic ex that I keep going back to yes. and I know it wants to play games on me, but then it gives me a good time. Yes. Like I, it just, yeah. So I'm gonna edit my video, sit on my toga chair, decompress, and then hopefully I'll give you guys the haul today. If it gets dark, it won't be today, but hopefully I'll be able to finish before it gets dark. Bro, I still gotta dye my hair today. What? I have to dye my hair today. How long does it take to dye your hair? It doesn't take long, but it's like, the fact that I have to do it. I finished, <laughs> finished editing my video. Bah, bah, I gotta pee. Wait a few hours, but it feels like days. Only been days, but it feels like nine. Then go for you, but it's one. Life moves fast when you're doing what you want. It's a bit dark, but also, wait, not the neighbor. The neighbor staring <laughs> at me. He was looking. We just made eye contact as I was like, it'll be a while. <laughs> oh, no, this is terrible. I can't do the hall while he's literally right out there screaming on the phone. I was like, what's on my face? What is he doing? I have a face mask on. This pimple, so don't. You keep saying face mask. I think it's just like a pimple patch mask. Because like face mask is giving like Well, whole it's a face, face. mask. Okay. And I just put it on the pimple. Oh, okay. Okay, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> At this point, I'm giving the haul to the neighbor too. Because he's right there. Hey, guy. But yeah, I'm just going to hold it up. And then I'm going to try it on. And then tomorrow, I'm also going to try it on to show you guys. But... I can't, I can't take off this hood. So then why are you going to show them right now? I'm going to just hold it up, tell them what I got. Um, and then I'm, because I want to put it on, but I have to tell them what I got before I put it on my body. Wait, why? What do you mean? Not, I just, not to like, but like, why can't you, why do you have to show to, that's so nice. <laughs> like, I'm like, I need to show y'all before I, so before you try it on, yeah, you need, need to, I need to tell them about them. Show. Yeah, yeah, show it to them. And then you can try it and on. And then I can, and then tomorrow you can try it on. And again. then tomorrow I'll give you guys my impressions of like, what actually fit, what didn't fit. Okay, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. But like, okay, I'm just gonna okay. be like, this is what I got. Here this is. is what I got. It, it, it seems like I didn't even experience the sale, was sale. because my recipita. Not my recipita. Comment down below what you think my recipita is. Because I don't know if any of this is going to fit. But I got this. I'm going to sit right here like I'm yeah. the audience. But she saw me pick it all out. It's fine. So I got this maxi skirt. Because they're like in trend. <laughs> and I feel like I would look real nice and sophisticated with this. And like a top. Like of course a top. But like you know like a cute top. A fun vibe. Cra, 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 you know, boom, boom, boom. I got these chancletas <laughs> because... These are my chancletas. Yes, these are my chancletas. They're, like, right. really cute. They're, like, these gladiator chancletas. Um, they have the strap around. These were not on sale. Neither was the skirt. <laughs> ah! I just needed sandals because I have all these, like, cutesy, fun, fresh stuff and, like, sneakers. Sneakers. New balance. New balance. I'm like... Calm down, girl. Cute. Now this is different. I normally never do pink. It looks a little on. interesting on camera. Like, I really want to see this on. Like, this looks bright. It really came out of the cut. This looks so bright. I but like it. This pink, like, it's going, you know, da da da. Going okay. dancing. Okay, da, da da Do you think those sides tie? I think they can tie. I like I feel like tied. I can make some stuff oh, shake. Oh, in the back. I feel like I could tie it in the back. I was doing like one, two, both of the sides. Oh, you're fucking! <laughs> they are both okay, in the side. Yeah. They are both in That's the side. That's what I side. thought. So they, well, obviously yeah. not that ugly, but they tie at the side. Cool, calm, fresh. Oh this guys. I mean, like, Raina saw this. Tell him. Tell him how you. I'm taking this um. 
basically I was walking by this the, the rack and this was on it. I was like, oh my goodness, like I want to give this to Maya because I feel like she would love it. But one, she's not supposed to be spending more money. So I was like, I'm not going to enable enable but so i was like you know when your mom's like you like this you like this and you have to be like no mom i don't like that like i don't like that so i don't want to do that to her because like i'm not her mom right but then next thing i know i, I popped out with it i popped out with it, it. Out with it. so i was yeah. both proud but also a little sad why are we sad for your wallet i am too go Sorry. check out the sale y'all if it's still going on, it should be, hopefully. And then I got this other blouse. I was really in my blouse yeah. vibe this time. I don't know, this one also looks interesting on camera, but I think it'll look good on. It was really like a struggle not being able to try this on. Raina was in there putting oh, this stuff my. over her sweatpants. Gosh. Like over the hoodies. I was literally like trying on dresses. I was like, okay, listen, this is really ghetto of me. <laughs> But also, but like, it's ghetto, it's ghetto of them, of them of to them. close the fitting room on the first day of the sale. Every single person that watched they were like, where's the fitting room? And they were like, oh, it's closed. They go, yeah. Because they have because so many things in your hand. Because obviously, like, I get why they closed it. But, yeah. like, it's the moneymaker. Because the way that I had to buy all this stuff just oh, to see if it fits. I yeah. Think about we still have a little bit here. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Obviously, I don't want to look like an old lady. Right. But... We're trying to elevate. Elevate. Oh this God. is <laughs> brought the girl. <laughs> oh my gosh, the knees. <laughs> Was it silky? It's not silky. Was mm -hmm. it satin? Satin. <laughs> satin. Satin, like fade to green, pink top. How going do you on. style this? Like, what's the vision? Uh, imagine this with okay. my denim shorts. Which ones? The the new ones I just bought from Zara that not I wore on the Sunday. Not ripped one. The, no, 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 the, the ripped ones. Okay. The distressed ones. And then the front of it tucked uh, a little bit. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. With the chocolates? The chocolates. These are my chocolates. Yo, like, yo, like, yo. <laughs> These are my chocolates. And then I got another version of the top that I. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, though. <laughs> literally, though. But this time it was on sale. 25 instead of 39. And so. how many did you buy for 39? <laughs> Three? <laughs> Three. Oh my god. Three. We don't know about this. I go. We don't know about this, but that's why we're here to try on. I could go return it as soon as possible. I'm excited for this one. I'm, I'm excited to see, see how it looks. See it. But it's this long, long bodycon dress. And it's got a lot of vibrant colors going on. It's got the whole heat wave vibe. Yeah. And it's like, I don't normally gravitate to stuff like this. But like I said, we're. I don't know what that means. Elevated! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! This, I this gonna eat down. Like this is just gonna be a absolute. It's like this. You know? You know, I say you know when you can't see it, but it's like a tie top, open back, black. With denim. With denim. <laughs> or with linen. Oh, with linen. With linen. Okay, we're going. Somebody asked me on a date, please. Oh, I was like, someone that asked sounds you desperate. On a date? No, I said somebody do it, but then that sounds desperate. <laughs> so I take it back. Really? I take it back. <laughs> okay, this crazy. Like I don't even know what. You got that? I got both of them. Wait, Maya. Yeah. Oh, that one. I got the pink, and then I got this. I thought you got the brown one and the ones that you show me in the squirts. Yeah. No, I put them squirts back. I wasn't vibing with the squirts. But you know, a little mini skirt. I'm crossing my fingers. This is a medium. But then I got this skirt in a small. I just see it. Because they didn't have. I see this too. I see it. Even for the gram. Like, even if just realistically. For the gram. It was on sale. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was. It was. <laughs> and it was. But it's so cute. Like, pink. It's got the stripe with like the blue. Cute, 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 cute. We're almost done. Two more things. I got a bag. <laughs> 
I got a bag. A cute little orange bag moment. Crochet. Oh. I mean, the girls love a good crochet. You love summer. a good crochet. The girls love and a good I crochet. And I said, I was summer. like, you know what? If you're going to get anything, you can get this because you, if you're elevating, you elevate from your toe to like a little crochet. Right. Like, and also, like, every time I go out, I'm like, oh, this is so inconvenient. I can't fit my portable, my phone. Like, I can't fit the things I need. But this thing gives, it gives space. There's space in there, but also it's like I knew I had to go. Like I have, it's like I got a final thing. Oh well, not the final thing. I got the perfume, but I got and you know another kind of elevated tote. Right. Like she Reynolds said not discussing. one, but two. So I got this one. I have bees on them. Yeah. Okay, oh. bees. Did you they're know? bugs. Oh, they're bugs. What? Oh, I can't. <laughs> with this y'all let me give you a little close-up that's so gross are you gonna edit have, this if you have trigger warning for bugs like what is that with this bedazzled bugs they gonna freak out <laughs> i am i'm like it, it looks, looks like actual spiders i'm taking that back it's bedazzled they're beating i did little. not see that in the zara lighting what kind of catfish was that <sighs> taking it back how much how much am i getting back 29 dollars weird i don't like that i don't like that type of manifestation like what you what are you trying to manifest for me? What am I, why am I bringing around my screen? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, oh, sorry. <laughs> like, don't mind me. Just here with my spider bug. So Literally. <laughs> like, why? Back so many of the faces of spiders. I got a perfume. Because Raina said this one smells good. And it was... $9.99 when it was originally $15.99. So I call Savings. that a deal. Look at the length of it. <laughs> Just look at the length of it. But I'm already getting $25 back, so that's perfect. Yeah, period. I love that. <laughs> Officially, I'm clocked out. Like, I swear to you. Actually, I do not want to swear on anything. Period. But I'm clocked out because genuinely the only reason that I went this time was because I was like, ah. Oh, the sale. Right. I didn't know this was happening. So like I gotta go experience the sale. Like these are good deals. So that's what I did. Good deals. And I won't be going back until my birth month. Which, which is, is literally by the kind of say August. It's Ju it's June twenty second. Like she's acting like I it's have a month detox. Y'all are Y'all are on my side. Okay. I'm tired and I have not started dyeing my hair. So we're gonna do it now. Because then the hair braiding place opens at like nine. Which means I need to get there for like what eight? I need to be like the first one there. So like I don't have time to do tomorrow and I also oh. <sighs> Anyways, 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 anyways. I don't think I'm gonna be speaking to y'all. I'm just gonna, I don't even remember how to dye my hair. I have to look it up, but I just came out here to say, I'm tired. I'm about to dye my hair, copper, my roots, do a root touch up. This is how, this how my roots are looking. Anyways, y'all. I'm just too tired for this. I'm too tired. So I'll check it back in. I need to play some play some brand. Oh yeah, play some brand. She says I'm calling and drive you crazy. So
slight change the weather And I promise forever to get going because the hair reading place opens at 9 30 a.m and i wanted to be an hour early so it's 8 10 now i need to leave so i can hopefully get there by like 8 30 because even though it's a friday it's like a weekday i feel like it's it's gonna be busy and i'm not trying to be there till like eight o'clock at night i'm trying to get in and out by five like that's it so packing my bag um Listen, so I never showed you the stuff that I got from the beauty supply store. I don't have time, but I can show you the hair that I got. I got the expression braiding hair, but I was standing in there for like 30 minutes because I was trying to contemplate what color matches my hair. And I got this one and it doesn't match. Like this is too light. My hair is like very like just orange. It's not orange, but it's like darker and kind of more of like a reddish hue. So this isn't gonna work. But the salon has braiding hair, so hopefully they have color, like a color that will match mine. We'll just have to go in there and see because I just don't think that's gonna work, and I think it's gonna look really weird because it's like super light. And then I have the bulk hair. I got the Janet Collection bulk human hair for the boho pieces, but I mean this one is the same type of lightness. But I'm just worried that this one isn't long enough because I'm trying to get like butt length boho knotless. So I'm worried that this won't be enough hair. So I don't know. I'm sure there'll be a beauty supply store around there. But yeah, I think I want longer bulk hair. But I don't know what to do because I don't want to get there late and then I'm waiting. So I think I'm just going to go. I just need to go. I just need to go. Wish me luck. I did my edges a little bit. I like swooped some of them down. They're looking a little crazy, but I did them because like that way when they braid, they don't pull my edges out because my edges are glued to my scalp. You can't take my edges away if they're glued to my scalp. Hopefully that helps me not look bald when I walk out the chair. But I'm, I'm a little nervous because I, I, I think I said that before that I haven't been to the African hair braiders in a while, but I think it's going to be okay. Like. I blew out my hair, I washed and blow dried, so I'm really just going in there to get these braids done. <sighs> done i literally only film my feet in the hair salon i'm sorry i'm a terrible person i'm really sorry it's just it was my first time going in there it was really overwhelming there was like a lot of people and like i didn't want to catch anybody on camera and then they're upset so i was just like i was just trying to be in there and get my hair done it's in the bonnet because i want to do a reveal i guess i'll just show you i'll stop wait let me come off okay ready Raina was saying it kind of gives like Ariel, like how Bailey's hair for um, The Little Mermaid because of the like red tint and like the distressing vibe with it. Okay, so like let me give you the rundown. The place that I went to is called Pretty Lady Hair Braining. It's in downtown Brooklyn, 204 Livingston Street. Um, they say they open at 930. But when I got there at nine, the door was already open and there was already seven people ahead of me. And they were like, write your name on the list. I was like, oh my God. Next time I know, I'm going at seven. The girl next to me was like, yeah, I got here at seven. I said, oh my goodness. But I get it now. I'm gonna get there at seven. I got in the chair at 11. So I didn't wait too long. I waited like two hours. And then the dilemma I was having in my head was that 
I did I show you guys the hair that I had bought? One second, let me get. And this is in the color 30. But then when I dyed my hair, I realized my hair is like darker and it's more red. It's more copper. So I got the wrong color. So I was worried and I was like, I don't want my whole head to be off. I would rather the hair match my roots. So I realized that my hair color is actually 350. And the braiding shop had hair and they had this color, which is 350. I was like, I think that's perfect. But the only issue was that my human hair pieces were in the color 30 because they were supposed to match that. So we were like going back and forth. We were like, should I just do 30 for the full head so that it matches the human hair pieces or should I do 350 and then just have the human hair pieces not match? We went with the second one and I'm very, very pleased that we did. Because honestly, I think it's kind of cool that, I don't know if you could like really tell, but I think I vibe with the fact that the added pieces are lighter. Like they're not too, too much lighter, but they're like a little bit lighter than the actual braid itself. Cause I feel like it adds like a little bit of highlight. Like it looks like a, not just like one dimensional color. I don't know, I'm getting too in depth with it. Next time I go, I'm gonna be like, definitely make them bigger because it's kind of thick. Like I normally like to be able to put at least everything up into a ponytail and stuff, but I definitely can't do that with this because it's like a lot of braids because she made it small. They provide the braiding hair, but they don't provide the human hair. So you only have to get the human hair, which I'm glad that I know now, but now I'm gonna try to, uh, hopefully the beauty supply store I went to takes returns and I can return all the hair that I got because I didn't need it and my total price was 220 including the hair I'm quite pleased she took five hours I was in the chair at 11 I was out by four it was speedy it was two of them working one was doing the ends while the other one was doing the roots I was like I like this formation it was calm like no breaks no nothing it was just in out but yeah so it's like five something now I'm honestly gonna start cooking dinner like my i'm gonna make shrimp pasta so my shrimp is fine so i'm waiting for that to thaw but i think i'm gonna do a little face mask i was like should i do two face masks in one night but i have this sheet mask that's like a korean skincare mask and then i have this one that i could do tonight because it's like an overnight vitamin c mask from youth to the people everybody knows when my hair is done so my personality comes back what is this I was planning on going to get my brows done, like I said before. I was gonna get them laminated, but now I'm thinking I kind of just want to dye them. Now listen, I know you're like Maya, stop it, stop it right now. Because if you if you know, two months ago when I literally bleached my brows and it went terribly because I looked like an alien, that's not happening again. I think I'm just gonna use the same hair dye that I used and. Just dye them like a light brown. Just so that I think that would go well with like the, this is a lot, what is happening here? I think that would go well with the hair. So I think I'm gonna do that instead of a brow lamination. And we can do the brow lamination a different, you know, a different time. Oh, I can't wear my glasses with this. I forgot that I'm blind. I don't even know what's in this. I just want my face to be soothed. I'm supposed to leave this on for 20 minutes, but I don't know. I don't really know. <laughs> okay. I don't think I can talk while this is on. So, I'll come back to you. <laughs> This one I bet to be the job. Me, I know get time I did that bad. That that cover my face, calling me like bad. 
Biggie man, we do the way I bad that. it come? Do you want to All the better. The get him. Bad I can feel. Why for not? Where's it come? Do you want to All the better. The get him. Bad I know feel. Can you say anything when you do the most commended? I can't come and give myself. So anything where they do, I they try to teach you I'm I can't come and give myself. Plenty, 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 so far we be faced. Just to make your money. Yeah. But my people don't say I know one bike, I know one bike, I know one baby. I want to enjoy, I want to jump life, I want to buy me though, I want to build house, I still want to know. Tell me, tell me, what's it going? Do you want to go? Oh, the bed. They get it, ride the wood. I know fee. Different things them happening, schemes and packaging. In a one night for shows, I'm juggling. Flow like the ocean, my boat, I'm paddling. Shout out Shina Bella, that's my bro, my family. Bros and trees. When it comes to money, I take concentrate. We got tell you straight, you are not my bitch. If you become a son, I'll be head of state. But my people then go say, I know one fight, I know one die, I know one women. I want to enjoy, I want to fly, I want to buy me good. I want to build I still want to know Where's it going? Do you want to know? Oh, do you want to know? Hello, my beautiful people. Happy Saturday. I woke up later than I was supposed to today. I mean, it's 11 o'clock now, but I've been up since like 8. But I had to go to my mom's house to feed the cats because she's away just for the day. So I had to go feed the cats, come back. But then I made a stop at the beauty supply store. To return the hair then and i knew it was gonna be something like i knew it was gonna be something with the beauty supply store but they were like no refund only exchange and i was like but i want my money back i want my money back but it was okay because then i just walked around looked for stuff saw stuff but i saw this on tiktok because okay so basically love my hair love the braids i feel like i just i love it love the way it looks everything about it but boho knotless braids do require upkeep they're not just like regular knotless braids and i got the ones like well of course the bulk hair that i got was human hair highly suggest like if you can swing it to get human hair because with synthetic hair this would be a matted mess already i think it's only because it's human hair so every time i can wet it the hair kind of can like detangle and stuff like that so yeah Knotless boho braids definitely require upkeep and maintenance to make sure that the curly pieces aren't getting like knotted together and tangled together, especially like at the nape of my hair. They just get real knotted up and I've only had them for a day. So I saw this girl on TikTok doing her upkeep for them and she had this mousse, the Lotta Body Coconut and Shea Oil Foaming Mousse. Yeah, she used this and then she like also used a spray and kind of like a conditioner type spray so i already have that i have the camille rose one so i think i'll do the camille rose spray this and then just some water whenever it gets tangled up but yeah it definitely like definitely had to wrap it up properly when i went to bed and even when i sit on the couch sometimes i'm just like let me throw on my bonnet because you know when you're like rubbing against the fabric it's just gonna get matted and tangled up and then because basically, she was like, go find what you want. Because it's like, you have $24. So go get something that amounts to $24. So this was the stuff I got amounted to basically $24. But I, I had an extra $0.54 cents to spend. But I was just like, okay, just keep the $0.54. Cents. She's like, I'll give you store credit. I'm like, what from the store can I actually get with $0.54? Cents? What do I need with the $0.54 cents store credit? But anyways, then I got these Cream of Nature shampoo and conditioners this is the double beauty detangle and slip shampoo with butter blend flaxseed oil and argan oil um and then this one is the double duty rinse out and leave in conditioner same same um materials i don't know like people have been talking about shea moisture and like how it's like supposedly not good i don't know people have been saying shea moisture is bad for your hair personally i've been using shea moisture for my entire life and every time i use it my hair is soft it's fluffy it's great but i guess it's because it's like very oil heavy which i think this is oil heavy as well so i don't even know the difference but i don't know i just wanted to try something 
else out to see what else is out there because again I have been using Shea Moisture for my entire life and I feel like it won't hurt to just try out you know something new I've been procrastinating and like going back and forth in my head if I should go to the gym but I think I should just go even if I just do like 15 minutes on the treadmill and then just do some squats because I haven't been in like three three days could I yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 We have a lot of stuff to do today. I don't know if I'm breaking it up between today and tomorrow. I think I might have to, but we'll see. I wrote a little list of all the rest of the stuff we have to get done for my little maintenance. I have to do my nails, go back to Zara to return the stuff that didn't fit or I didn't like, which I'll show you guys. And then I have my lash appointment at four. And I want to get my toes done since I bought sandals. I'm like, okay, well, now I can't be walking around with raggedy toes. But I don't know if that's happening today or tomorrow because I'm like, do I have time? And also, like, where am I going? I don't even have a specific nail salon. Some skincare. I think I want to do some, like, dermaplaning. I may want to go to Sephora. For one specific thing, I want to get that Anastasia, um, like, brow thingy. Is it Anastasia? I don't know. The one that I saw Monet use it. She used to use it a lot. The clear gel. And then you, you know, I don't know if that's Anastasia. But I want that. Because since I'm not getting my brow lamination this month, I still want my brows. Oh, that's what else I have to do. I have to dye my brows. Dye my eyebrows. Oh, no. I was supposed to... Oh my god, that's what I should have used my exchange money for. Getting freaking hair dye to dye my brows. Whatever. Let's go to the gym. Low key, I feel like the braid slash the hair is like doing whatever workout with- oh, Stop. I feel like it's like doing whatever workout but with weights. Because this not gonna lie, it's like a weight. So. Why am I dark? What's going on? What's going on? Like, I know I'm black, but like, why can you not see me? Somehow I ended up running a little bit low on time. It's like about to be two o'clock and if my appointment's for four and I still kind of want to put my nails on, which doesn't take long, it'll take like 30 minutes, but I still gotta go to Zara and make my return. And the Zara line is probably gonna be long because it's a freaking, oh my God, I'm about to go to Zara on a Saturday. Okay, luckily I'm only going in there to return. Stop turning black. I was literally just about to say I found a cute new spot to put my What's happening? A cute new spot to put my camera, but now it wants to turn black. Anyways, I don't know what you want from me. I'll put you here. So, now I'm just double confirming the things that I want to return. But this is the skirt, the, the maxi skirt. And it's so freaking cute i mean obviously not with this top like not with this fit but i feel like get out of my way get out of my way but i feel like i tried it on with like different tops and stuff like that so cute so this is an absolute key the only thing i was like maybe i should because this is an extra small 
and it like fits like this is snug so I was like maybe I should get it in a small but honestly because it's high waisted I feel like it's fine that it's an extra small like it's just when I pull it over you know it's like a little bit of a struggle but once it's up it's fine and it's comfy and we're good what else was for sure not happening oh this for sure going back um can I get it untangled? For sure going back. I feel like it would look cute on somebody else, but I just don't like this type of neckline. Like the scoop, you know? It just looks weird on me. Like it just didn't, it didn't look good on me. You guys always ask, or you guys have recently been asking where I get these like basic tops from. I have them in like seven different colors. These are from Aritzia. They're the Sunday Best something top. I'll have them linked down below. But yeah, I love them. They're great. Quite expensive for like a basic top, but I think they're a great skims dupe. And you know, if you just get one, you know, if you just stack up as time goes on, then it's like an investment piece. So anyways, let me try this off. I was unsure about this pink top. It's like this off the shoulder, right? I was unsure about it because I was like, is it giving old lady? But I think with like a cute mini skirt, like, I think it looks cute with, like, this white skirt and then with, like, sandals. I don't know. It's just, like, I think this is a keep. I think we'll keep this one. Okay, and then there's this other pink top, which, like, I'm pretty sure this isn't even how you're supposed to wear it, like, tied in the front. But I kind of like it better tied in the front, but I'm just, I'm on the fence. I think it's, like, the fit of it, like, the, like, this neckline where I'm, like, like, it's cute. It's really, really cute, but I'm, like is it cute enough for me to want to keep it like i think it looks cute with like denim and i also these jeans actually Raina bought and then she tried them on they didn't fit her but then i was like wait let me try them on and then they fit me so it was like let me buy those off you so i bought them off of her they're really cute i like them but i don't know i think i think the top is a no like i think i'm like not in love with it ah, i don't know okay okay wait i think it might be a keep like ties at the back if I take the ties and like put them in the back it's kind of cute I'm like struggling with like the sandals with the tag still on it but I think it's a keep I'll just keep it this one's an absolute keep I think this is my favorite item from the purchase this is so fire this one wasn't even on sale so I probably could get the link to it I'm worried that because these items are on sale I won't be able to get the links for you guys because they might be sold out because I was trying to find the links to the jeans and it wasn't on the website so it was like oh my gosh but this one wasn't on sale I got this full price or was it on sale I don't even remember at this point but love 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 live laugh love and then there's this top which is like I'm normally not into this like fit which is why I'm like skeptical but I think like I styled it does it look weird? I styled it and stuff with like the bag. I think with like hair up, it would look nice. And then honestly, I think this would eat with like a denim mini skirt. Like a denim Y2K mini skirt really go the whole Y2K vibe. Honestly, y'all, I was so surprised when I tried on the skirts and they fit both of them. This one I got in a medium, so there's like space in the back. But honestly, I think this would look cute with like silver um, pins. Like, kind of just, like, to add a little flair for the style. And then I styled it with my Aritzia top. Just because, like, I feel like I could wear this as, like, a cute casual with, like, new balances. Keep. This is a keep. Bad fit creation. Don't. This is not. I had a vision. It didn't, it didn't go. But definitely keeping this skirt as well because it fits, again, perfectly. And then this one's in a small. And I love both of these because they have shorts i didn't say that the cream ones have shorts as well and then these ones have shorts so it's like cute but still like i don't feel like i'm not gonna flash anybody like there will be nothing to see because i'm in shorts and you wouldn't think so you would think i'm in a mini skirt i do not have enough time to do my nails so we'll just do that when i come back but this is my little errands running fit i probably need like a cover-up for the train when i get cold but i fit all the return stuff in my toes and yeah we need to go because it's already 2 30 so i'm like realistically i want to be able to do zara and then run into sephora but i don't know if i'm gonna have enough time for that so we'll just cross our fingers and see what happens Y'all, I freaking made it, and I'm 
dripping. Look at that. I'm glad I'm wearing black today because no, I'm dripping in sweat. Why is it so hot in New York? And I didn't eat anything. I haven't eaten anything since my, bo my boiled eggs. So I set myself up for failure, but it's okay because I'm gonna use the bathroom, lay down, take a nap, and then wake up and be starving and figure out what I need to eat then. But I do not, I should have cooled down. Okay, I'm finished. It was pretty fast. Oh, now I'm getting caught in my glasses. It was pretty fast because it was just a fill. And I kind of, wow, I look like a grease ball. I kind of miscommunicated because I showed her a picture of a set, but it was a mascara set. And I normally get vanity. I normally, Jesus. I normally get vanity, which is like a little bit more intense. So she did mascara set this time, which honestly it's fine. Like it still looks pretty intense, like I like it. And it was cheaper. It was like 125. Was that cheaper? Yeah. So um I'm happy with it and now I'm gonna go get bubble tea. so unwell why is it so gross outside it's like hot and then just like sticky and then the air feels sticky and then it's like blowing in your face i feel like i need to take like a 20 hour long shower i need to wash my face but i don't want to do that because i'm not going to bed it's only six o'clock I got my boba. I need this. First meal of the day. I also got bonchon. And I was really saying to myself, like, Maya, you have food in the house. You don't need food. You can just get bubble tea and call it a day. But it's like, how often do I pass by bonchon? Basically, it's a Korean, it's like a Korean food spot, but they make bomb Korean fried chicken. Like, look at how crisp. I got the soy garlic. So good. I got coleslaw, which to me is like a meal in itself. I'm a coleslaw addict. I love coleslaw so much. Like I can eat it on its own, anything like that. Oh my God, that was intense. I was like sweating buckets. Of decompressed also hair look at that look at that look at that look at that after all the stuff that i did this morning it just didn't it's like it's giving that the hair is not even human but it better be human because of how expensive it was but it's just getting so knotted let me know please tell me if i'm just crazy or if all of your knotless braids do this like i know there's they're supposed to do this but bro, it is what it is. It is what it is. I just need to get my IG pics before all of the knotless pieces come out. And then once I get my IG pics, I'm fine. It can do whatever it wants to do. Anyway, gonna do my nails. I have a lot of options and I don't know what I wanna do. I'm a press on nail addict. I've developed this collection of things. And I have so many from so many different brands that I don't even know. I don't even know. I have some Chill House ones. These like purple. Is this terrible lighting to show you guys? I have these like purple and what is this like pink? Like this swivel. But I don't think I'm feeling this. I don't know. Like I'm feeling something like a baddie. Like oh my god baddie. Like that type of vibe. I'm really feeling this. 
I feel like I kind of want to go with these. These are more of like a, can you focus? Like, you see? Like, it's just giving, I don't know, this looks so cool. I love the different designs. And I like that this one's like, kind of like a sharper oval. It's a little bit longer. This one's from Shrine. I think I got this from Urban Outfitters. Yeah, I got it from Urban Outfitters like a while back. So this is a contender. Then I have these ones from Dashing Diva, right? These are just like a simple with the little color at the tip. Cute, cute, fun, fun. Then I have these, which are like funky cute. These are from Lottie. They have like the swivel and the colors, but I just feel like I'm not, you know, like it's cute, it's fun, but not the vibe I'm looking for. And then I have these, which are basically kind of like the other ones I just showed you. These are also from Lottie and they are, I think they just have like a deeper like French tip. Hmm, like this would be cute for like a vacay. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And then I have these, these are, I love these. These are the Kiss, what is it called? Bare But Better. Love this collection of Kiss Press On Nails. So good, this is like in the medium length, but it's like this ombre, or is this the ombre? No, 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 no. This one's just the regular pinky and it's just such a classic it's so classic it looks so good looks so elegant i'm definitely really leaning to this because i feel like with the hair just like an elegant nice nail would be a vibe but then i also got these from the beauty, beauty supply store and these are also are these kiss or not i don't know if these are kiss or not it says gold finger but i love the little checkered vibe on these ones so it's like a French tip, but like a checkered vibe. I think I'm no to the French tip. I didn't think I'm in a French tip type of mood. So it's between these two. Like, do I want to go fun, vibey, kind of cool? Or do I want to go like classy, elegant? This one looks so cool. And I've been looking at this one. Let me take it out the box and put it on my finger. Rip me out the plastic line like I'm brand new. Y'all, I love press on so much. I feel like that's the one thing I wouldn't switch to. Like... I feel like over time, like when I was in high school, I really wasn't with like the, like getting my hair done, getting my lashes done. Like everybody around me was doing it, but I just think I wasn't in that vibe. Like I didn't really care how I looked like I was in high school. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't really care. Now, you know, I just like feeling presentable and I like feeling good when I walk out the door. So I like taking care of myself, but I think like acrylics, I mean, never say never, but honestly, like, I don't think it's something I really see myself doing, especially when the press on nail community is so fire. Like you could get some, but let me show you. Okay, I've been saving these for, I think these are gonna be my birthday nails. I've been saving these for months because I got them from like a special place in Manhattan. It was just like a girl doing like a little pop-up shop, but these are crazy. It's like this black, can you focus? No, let me turn it. Like you need to see the full effect. Like, okay, can you stop? Okay, look at that, look at that. Look at the jewels, look at the details. They're so long too, which is like out of my comfort zone, but that's why I'm like birthday, like absolutely. But yeah, I feel like the press on nail community is just, it's different than it was before. Like it's not for, the 12 year olds it's not for the tanties like i feel like you could get really really cute ones like if you still want your long crazy designed acrylics you could honestly go on etsy and get some fire press-ons and the great thing about press-ons is if you act if you take good care of them and when they pop off or when you're ready to take them off you still care for them you could honestly reuse them which like you can't reuse an acrylic set like once it's popped off it's gone but with press-ons, if you find them when they pop off, you could just glue it back on another time. So it's like, I, I'm an advocate for a press-on. I think people expect that like they don't last long and stuff like that. But like, if you just find, like honestly, I think Kiss has honestly the best nail glue. Like it's strong, it be lasting. My nails last like two weeks, which I think is like kind of the vibe that acrylics last when they start popping off. Um, and if I'm careful with my nails, then they last even longer. So yeah, that's just me trying to convince y'all. These are cute. These are cute. I think I should do these. Should I just have 
fun with it. Like, I feel like the other ones would be fun, but the other ones, like, it's what I do. Like, it's kind of like my basic. It's my basic go-to. This one has, like, a lot of stuff going on. Oh, I, I think I should just go with these. Guys, I don't know what to do. Like, it's just so, just, ugh. Oh, I just love it. I think I'll do these. <laughs> I love these. I love the length. I don't even have to like cut it down or anything because I feel like this is the perfect length for me. And they're just so cute. So simple. They'll look great with like my rings. Maybe I can find them on Amazon. I think I can. I think I've linked them before. So if I find them on Amazon, why am I like, if I find them on Amazon, this is what happens. When I get my nails done, all of a sudden it's like top, 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 tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna find them on Amazon and link them in my Amazon storefront. Cause I've been linking stuff on there and I feel like nobody goes to check it out. And I put effort into it to put my little Amazon finds on there. Absolutely nothing. 
absolutely living. I'm getting ready so that Raina can help me take IG pictures on the roof. I'm trying to step my game up with the IG thing. I like, I was really good at it kind of like quarantine vibes when I just had my dad and we could like go out and I'd be like, let's go take pictures. And he would be like, cool, I'm down for it. Now it's like, I don't know. I just don't have the opportunities to take pictures and I'm also just like not like when I'm out I don't want to be like stopping and being like let me get a photo like I'm never really like I'm like what's up what's happening so I'm gonna try to get on my IG grind especially with all the new clothing and stuff I got like I have to show it off somehow but I got some stuff from Amazon that I'll show you first thing that I got are these like satin which these don't feel satin but at least they're just not like cotton I mean, yeah, they say satin, but it's not giving satin. It's just giving like kind of smooth. But I got these scrunchies. I have it in my hair because with the way that these knotless pieces are moving, which is crazy, I swear, I don't know. I I would say do not use the Janet Collection bulk hair. And please comment down below what hair is best to use for the knotless braids because this one that I got was not, it's not the one. This is not giving human hair, it's giving like mixed because it's, it just keeps getting knotted. So that's why I'm like, I just need to pick, take the pictures today before this hair gets reckless, reckless. So yeah, so I got some like smooth scrunchies so that it doesn't get like caught in the, um, caught entangled with the knotless pieces. I got the big, big body bands. Big body bands walked into the bloody market. I got the big like headband scrunchy things because you know, this hair is thick. Even though these have a lot of stretch, which I didn't expect, but the hair is thick and I wanted to get like bigger ones so that I could more easily put my hair into ponytails. But I feel like this is gonna get really tangled with the goddess pieces because it has like the rubber, or no it doesn't, no it doesn't. But I don't know, I just think this is gonna get tangled, so maybe not, bruh. I gotta clean my bathroom. Like once this, I'm not gonna do it now because it makes no sense to clean it before I'm about to beat my face, but like, this place is disgusting. It's gross, I need to vacuum, I need to scrub everything. And then I got the bonnets, like I told you guys. Damn, this is so long. So there's this one, which I don't like this pattern. What is happening? But in order to get the black, I had to get that as well. But yeah, so it's just super long. And then it has, I like these that have the thick band. It's really just gonna, like, it's not going anywhere at all. So that's my little Amazon haul. Everything will be linked. You know where it'll be linked. It'll be linked in my storefront. I'm trying to decide if I wanna chat with y'all or if I wanna play your music. I feel like if I chat with y'all, this will take forever. And I'm kind of scared. Oh, what am I doing? So I dyed my eyebrows. <laughs> I dyed my eyebrows. Here's how they look. I love it. Ooh, I love it in this lighting. I definitely got it the right color this time. It's not too bleached. I didn't bleach it at all. I used, um, it's in the trash. Where is it? No, it's not in the trash. Also, what is that mark? Where is it? Oh, I used the L'Oreal High Color. I normally always use L'Oreal High Color. But this is in the color, focus, soft auburn. And I think it goes perfectly with the braids. Cause I just, I didn't want the dark brows that weren't gonna match. I just wanted my brows to match my braids. And I think it really like pulls the look together, especially like when my face is beat, I think it's just gonna eat and like without the glasses. So I'm happy about that. I had to go into the beauty supply store to get the hair, the dye for my eyebrows. The beauty supply stores have been just eating the girls up with the press on nails. Look at these. Oh, it's got the glare thing going on. But like, hopefully, look at that. Look at that. The jewels on it. Like, okay, so these are long. So it's like, I don't know, I'm a little scared for these, but I feel like these are just gonna, oh, I feel like it's gonna look so good. I was so surprised when I found these. Like, like I feel like this is genuinely like a style like I would pay somebody to do. And it was eight bucks. So I'm gonna put this in my press on drawer. And now, I don't know, now I feel like that's gonna be my next set instead of the other ones. I don't know. Should I put on my speaker? I think I will. What should I listen to? What should I listen to? I don't know. 
connected to my hands phone. Let me wash my hands. What should we do? I'm kind of in my like hip hop kind of era. I normally don't like listening to hip hop, but when I'm getting ready, I like a good, you know, like I have different, you know, music vibes that I like for different vibes. Like when I go to sleep, it's either, Me as well. I know you are. I know you are babes. Um, when I go to sleep, it's either Brent or Frank Ocean. Sometimes I do Frank Ocean for like the shower or sometimes for getting ready, but I don't know, it's just not that bad. Like when I'm getting ready, I like a, like a. We got money, but we ain't lending out. We got bars, but we ain't billing out. Yeah, I know the trick, so I gotta break. You ain't know, like me and Bobby, bitch. I'm high, I'm gonna never. Hitting the trap, I'm the king. I'm the king. I'm the king. I did it. I did the makeup. I think I slayed. I think I kind of ate. <laughs> I think I kind of ate. I think I'm going to do brown lip gloss instead of this. But I, it's a little bit like because the lashes are so black and now my brows and this are. It matches perfectly though. The eyebrows to the to the hair matches perfectly. I think the trick was not using the actual hair dye that I use for my hair. I feel like one of these days I gotta give you guys a tutorial, like an in-depth tutorial. But at the same time, it's like, I don't really do anything crazy. So like, not that necessary. Anyways, we need to pick what outfit. I don't know what outfit is giving for like rooftop. I don't know what, I don't know what it's giving. I kind of want to try to style my like long maxi. Is it maxi? My long maxi skirt. But at the same time, I feel like that's not, that's not the vibes for the roof. So when I, when I pick an outfit is when I'll come back to y'all because having you here looking at me pick an outfit is just too much pressure. I picked the fit. I feel like it's doing a lot, but realistically, y'all are the only ones that are going to know that I didn't go out and all I did was get ready to take these pictures. Also like, who are the people that really be making fun of people for just getting ready to take pictures because y'all don't understand the fun of getting ready. Wait, let me show you full on. This is a little bit, I mean, it's like out of my comfort zone, but I, I like the vibe. So I did this, this top with my skirt, my long skirt. I feel like it gives, I don't know, like it's, I'm kind of like, I'm leaning into like the long Halle Bailey energy of the hair. Halle Bailey is my inspiration. She's my icon right now. As she should be. She is an icon. No Halle slander or I will beat you up. Zara everything. And then I think I'm going to do the sandals. Since I don't got to walk in them. But I was like trying to be like, oh, can I like do something different with sneakers? But I just don't have sneakers that would like go. So I'm just going to like, like even though these are basic, I'm just going to do the sandals. I'm trying to decide what bag. Cause I have this, but I don't think this goes. Like it's like a lot of colors going on. What do you think? I mean, you can't tell me, but there's this one. Let's do that. Let's do that. Like I just don't want it to be like a basic fit. Is it? Is it too much going on with this? Ooh, I feel like I should button it up one more. Yeah. 
for sure. For sure. I feel like I kind of like the orange as like a random, like, what are you doing here? What's this happening? Or I could just go regular schmeigler and then I could do the, the brown, which I feel like the brown isn't. It's nothing. Like nothing. You're doing nothing. You're giving us absolutely nothing. This heat, y'all, I stepped outside today and I was just like, this is just really not okay. Like I need a breeze or something. It's because it's so humid. Like for some reason, New York City feels like the depths of Jamaica. Like it feels humid and sticky and just hot which is like normally New York summers. I also didn't realize we're literally in July. July 4th is this weekend or like coming up. And I'm just like, I, it's so hot. But anyways, what was I saying? That I'm going on like a major spending ban. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm for the month of July at least, cause August is my birth month. I, oh, August is my birthday, okay? August is my birthday. I can't make any promises, but for the month of July, I'm going on like a spending ban, but you know, Maybe like later on or like at the start of August, I do want to like get my jewelry collection going and like get some better jewelry just because like I don't really have, I wear the same thing all the time. I have my like Vitaly gold bracelet and then this from Amazon and then my Vitaly rings. I feel like accessories really make an outfit look 10 times better and I just don't have enough variety. So that'll be on my next agenda, but not... You know, like I said, I'm going on a spending ban. I'm going to try to be responsible and just stop spending as much. Hopefully you guys like the fit. I don't know when it's going to be on the gram. I'm sweating. Say hello. Hi. Hi. She took my photos. I look good. <laughs> Mama, please <laughs> some digis and we got the rag there's probably like 800 photos on there but it's okay because tonight i'm gonna eat my food <laughs> and then i'm gonna just <laughs> she be silent i'll be just sitting there silent. i'm gonna put on some good soul and it's just you versus me <laughs> like it's it's completely <laughs> black and white no because i think i did everything i needed to accomplish i can't see the photos not to to what keep going no, I had nothing else to I was going to say, I can't wait until we, like, continue. <laughs> Keep going with your vlog. Um, to watch your vlogs when I'm away. Oh, yeah. How many do you think I'll get? Realistically, it's probably only going to be, like, two. Right? Yeah, two. How many Sundays are you gone for? Two Sundays? Two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three. Now I'm going to have to go edit you Oops. so you can see you. <laughs> and then I got to edit my pictures. <laughs> so you can see those, too. Love you guys so much. I'll see you when I see you. I really like how my makeup came out. You see? We glowed up! We glowed up! We started from the bottom. Oh my god. Do you all just just go to the go to the end go to <laughs> words. Go to the beginning of this vlog. Okay, go to the beginning of this vlog. Me and my hoodie looking reckless, looking scary. To now. Yeah! I'll see y'all later. Heart beating fast, let a nigga know that he alive. Fake niggas, mad snakes, snakes in the grass, let a nigga know that he arrived.